listen, bear with me for a minute because, uh, I mean, you're not even going to believe this. This is like, it's like if you made a Wolfenstein knockoff in 1993, only with less Nazis and more tomatoes, but years later, you know, you then, oh, now you're, you're diagnosed criminally insane, and then you decide to bring it to the iPhone with, with touch controls, but, you know, since you're... Yeah, you know, you're criminally insane. This is what happens. Uh, this game is called Crazy Teapots, and, uh... I mean, crazy is an exceedingly gentle way of putting it. This is a 3D deathmatch thing in which teapots try to destroy each other with vegetables. Uh, and you assume these are the crazy teapots referenced in the title, but then you realize, you know, bloodshot eyes and dilated pupils would seem to indicate something other than crazy, and what I want to know is, uh, what, it, what exactly is inside these teapots? This game was made by a Russian IT guy, uh, and actually it's his very first attempt at an iPhone game, and in some ways, you can tell. I mean, there are a lot of things happening here, and a lot of them are, you know, not ideal, but at the core of this game, there's at least something interesting. I mean, throwing bananas at a cracked out teapot is, if nothing else, interesting. So the game does kind of remind me of old shooters. I'm talking like shareware Wolfenstein clones from the early 90s, in that it's familiar in a good way and kind of like dated in a bad way. The gameplay feels really floaty and imprecise, which makes shooting with any degree of accuracy almost impossible. Now, the crazy thing is that, you know, despite a shaky gameplay foundation, the game does have some ambitious ideas. I mean, you can play locally, you can play online. I'm actually being shot by Brandon, who works here at Classic Game Room. The game supports eight players. There are three different camera angles. Uh, it even supports voice chat, which is pretty awesome. But uh, Crazy Teapots does have some problems, and a lot of them do have to do with design. None of it is immediately intuitive, and that also poses a bit of a problem. Yeah, I, I, I think there are a lot of good ideas, uh, among perhaps mind-altering substances, in crazy teapots, but I also think some of the execution isn't there. Uh, perhaps a simpler approach with more focus on polished action might have been beneficial, but as it is, Crazy Teapots is a crazy game you wouldn't be crazy to pass on. 